Hi everyone, this is Angel, and today uh, this is my Geography 100 final project, and my name is Angel. This is today I want to introduce the three places which is important for me. The one is my home in China, and another yeah. one is a secret in Vancouver, yeah. and the last one yeah. is my high school in Vancouver. So there are four parts. There are four parts you you can see in my in my script and my presentation. The first one is how I have impacted places. The other is how places impacted me, and then the interconnectivity between me and the three places. So the first one is my home in China. So, you know, uh, I was born and lived in China for almost 20 years. And this is a map that I made. And this is a road. And you can see that I level my, my home in here. This is my home. And the next is, this is a lot of apartments surrounding this. And this is, a, uh, this is a road. And you can see a lot of cars in here. And this is pictures for my apartment. You can see in, in there are a lot of supermarkets or like some cafe in here. And the reason why I mentioned this become my three important places because you know my parents and my relatives friends are also living here and we miss each other and we and then for these pictures. You can see, you can see there are a lot of, you can see like these two different pictures. They are all, they are the handcrafting from the ethnic groups called, called Chang ethnic groups. You know, in Sichuan, there are a lot of ethnic groups are living here, such as Chang ethnic groups, Zhang ethnic groups, and so on. So they have, they have their own uh, eating habits and their own character, characters or their own di dialects. So, for example, uh, I mentioned the Chang, I mentioned the Chang ethnic groups because uh, because I belong to Chang ethnic groups. So this is a clothes that the women made, and the patterns in the clothes are also made by their hand. And you can see these shoes. Uh, this shoes is a simple, you can see these flowers in here. Um, it also, it is also dedicated. And this is a, is a child's shoes. And in there, if the children will wear these shoes, it, 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 it is a symbol of good luck. And for dialects, in Chang ethnic groups, they have their own characters that we didn't, that we didn't know outside. And the groups have their own dialects, and I don't know how, how to pronounce. And yeah, next. So you can see these pictures, it is a hot pot. You know, uh, I live in Sichuan province. So, you know, uh, Sichuan is a fencing city. So people in here are always will, uh, will uh, will feel some moist, so we need to eat some spicy food to, in order to make our body wet. And it is good way. It is a good way to keep away from the disaster. It also delicious. And about these two pictures, you, you can. This is a jump, please. Um, exactly, you know, uh, spring festivals is famous in China. And in, in that day, people will sit, uh, will have a big dinner, and then we will uh, handmade dumplings with our family members. Not only is it a good way to communicate with our family members, but also we can uh, eat a symbol of have a good year, next in, have a good luck, lucky year, have a good lucky year. And this, then, and in addition, this, uh, the children will receive the red pocket from their, uh, from their grand grandparents. It is a symbol of, it is a symbol of good luck, and have a, have a good begin, in next year. So the third place is, is the third place is, uh, the, is the SFU in Vancouver. 
Yeah, you know, um, I came to Vancouver almost almost one year, but uh, ha however, uh, I back to my country about for July because of pandemic. So you can see this map. One is this is in front of the mountain, and it 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 has good scenery. And you can see this is this is this is a view, and they have a lot of like the road. And next to the uh, beside the road, you can see the team. Important and this, uh, next to the team, it is A and W. So, um, before, uh, uh, before I arrived in Canada, um, so it the first, the first thing gave me the deep impression is, um, the Canadian have different, have different ways to eating with my, with have different with my country and they have their own, they have their, they have their own words and official language like English or French and so on. And this is my school, SFU. You can see uh, in this, in, in SFU, I think this, uh, the school will provide a lot of study opportunities, uh, opportunities to me. For example, a lot of a lot of teachers give me some encourage, encouragement in my study, and I uh, and I meet a lot of international students who come from different countries. And yeah, you know, we we we, we have different cultural background, and we can share our feelings or our religions or our language in our city. <laughs> And you can see this one. And when I uh, live in a home in, in a homestay, and I found my landlord have different eating habits to me. The first of all, um, I always use chopsticks. Uh, I always use chopsticks in, in China, but in but in my homestay's home, they always need knife and fork in you know, when they eating. I think it maybe it. it it, it is a cultural, it, it has a cultural difference. It, it have a different habits because of, a, because of culture. And you can see, you can see there are a lot of, uh, this is a, mm, this is a sea. And I can see a lot of Canadians are spending their vacation in here. And I found, I found, uh, and I found, yeah, people in Canada have different ways to celebrate their vacation. So, uh, in in as in Canada, um, I think I I, can, uh, I think I talk with different languages like Cantonese or Mandarin, English, French, and so on. Now, I remember I have a lot of friends from Guangdong. Uh, they also speak Cantonese. And they believe, and they believe Christian because of their family members. And I found, <clears throat> and I found my landlord always eating milk diary because the Canada is famous for mil milky diary like cheese, milk, and so on. Okay, the last one is my high school in China. And you can see the map in here. This is my home, and this is some supermarket. And if you cross the road, you will see my high school. And this is the student. It is a playground. And this is my high school. This is my high school. And I capture this. And I capture this. These pictures in last day. And I, uh, I thought it has many changes before. I graduate. Oh, after I graduate, sorry. Uh, I cannot go to my high school after I graduate. I remember that I have always, uh, I have always valuable memories in here. First of all, uh, I went to the boarding school when I, uh, I went boarding school when I entered high school. So students should stay with their teachers and students for a long time. My high school, my high school student teachers give me some encouragements. First of all, I reckon that my high school 
teachers, uh, my high schools in, impact me a lot of areas. Uh, so, uh, for example, I remember that the first time I sat in the classroom, my teacher went, went to our classroom and said, why do you study? Many students said their parents want them to study, but I said, but the teacher said, you study is only for ourselves. After her words, it inspired me. I still remember, and I still remember this verse until the present. I believe my high school was educated me. Uh, and you can see this my graduation photos, and this is me, and this is my teacher. This is my all of my teachers. I think uh, I uh, I think I miss my high school period because it uh, it will influence my concept and educate me, educate me, uh, educate me, and. Uh, I think uh, nowadays I, I study in Vancouver. My major is education, so I want to be a teacher in the future. So I think when I back to my country, I can uh, bring some important value, uh, bring some uh, right concept, uh, valuable concept, or uh, to my to my school when I as a teacher. So I reckon that it can it can make my school become more and more better than before because it can it can have some advanced educational concept from myself and i think i can make some contributions for my high school and this is my first time uh, i study english and you can see and you can see this is a teacher it is a foreign foreigner teacher foreign teachers and i remember he he came from England, and it, uh, and and it and it also was my first time to study English, because dude, you know my school is an international uh, international school, so students will study Chinese and English. Um, so I think it was my first time to uh, touch with English, and it was the first time I love English. And this is my teacher, my high school teacher, and this is my high school teachers, my math teachers, politics teachers, and I think they give me a lot of politics. And so that day when I back to China, I want to see them, see them in the school, and I will talk to them about a lot of uh, important um, concept or knowledge that I learned in Vancouver. Okay, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.